Thank you for joining us for the 2023 Harris County Peace Officers Memorial Service. I'm Angelique Myers, your host and MC for this year's special event. I have the honor of serving as the Senior Media Manager at the Harris County Sheriff's Office. And as a spouse of a law enforcement officer myself, I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of the spouses, parents, siblings, family members, friends, and loved ones that join us today as we pay tribute and honor all of our fallen heroes. Please know that we continue to lift you up in prayer, support you, and ultimately we acknowledge your courage and continued strength as the legacy of your loved ones shines through you each and every day. Now, on behalf of the Harris County Sheriff's Office and the Harris County Constables, I would like to thank you for attending the 2023 Harris County Peace Officers Memorial Service. Would everyone please rise for the laying of the memorial wreath, the presentation of the colors, and the singing of our national anthem by the Harris County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard Choir. Please remain standing for the invocation. All officers and colors!
Join me as I pray. Something I heard this morning that I feel is very appropriate. It said, let us thank you for everything before we ask him for anything. So with the heart of that gratitude and attitude, let's pray. Well, Father God, we come before you, Lord, and we're gathered under your creation. I thank you for this day, Father, though we gather with heavy hearts and heavy spirits, we thank you, Father. I thank you for the families that are present, and it is asked for your peace that surpasses understanding. Of the many promises of your word, you say you are near the brokenhearted, and we ask for your manifest spirit of peace to be with them this hour. Lord God, I thank you for the leadership that's present and all the fellow first responders that are here and the families that they represent. And Lord God, it's our desire to honor you in everything that we do and say from this moment forward. It's in Christ's name that I pray. Amen. 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 Post the color. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you so much, Chaplain. And thank you to the Honor Guard singers. That was beautiful. We want to uh, recognize all of our survivor families who are in attendance today. Will you please rise and be recognized so that we can thank you all for being here. to invite the staff member representing the Honorable Harris County Judge, Lena Hildago, to read this year's resolution. On behalf of Harris County Judge Nina Hidalgo, my name is Ariana Campos, and I'm going to read the resolution that was recently passed at Commissioner's Court hearing. Whereas Peace Officers Memorial Day will be observed in Harris County on Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023, as part of Police Week, to honor law enforcement officers who have lost their lives or have become disabled in the performance of their duty. Whereas it is important that all citizens understand the problems duties and responsibilities of their law enforcement agencies and that members of our law enforcement agencies recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property. Whereas every day peace officers serve and protect our community, put themselves in harm's way and recognize with their service comes risk and sacrifice to ensure the safety and well-being of our communities and families. Whereas the president and Congress of the United States, as well as the governor and the legislature of Texas, has designated a day in May as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it occurs as Police Week. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Harris County Commissioner's Court proudly designates Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023, as Harris County Peace Officers Memorial Day and further designates the week of May 15th through the 21st as National Police Week in Harris County, Texas, and extends appreciation and gratitude to all the dedicated police officers who serve and protect our communities. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you your Harris County Constables. Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen. Precinct 2 Constable Jerry Garcia. Representing Precinct 3 Constable Sherman Eagleton is Major Isaac Villarreal. <laughs> Representing Precinct 4 Constable Mark Herman is Chief Stewart.
Representing Precinct 5, Constable Ted Heap is Assistant Chief Jordan Goff. Precinct 6, Constable Sylvia Trevino. Representing Precinct 7, Constable Mae Walker is Captain Marcus Grant. And last but not least, Precinct 8, Constable Phil Sandlin. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of our elected officials and distinguished guests. Of course, we can't forget about you all. Representing Commissioner Garcia, Mike Likes. Of course, you just heard from Ms. Campos representing Judge Hildalgo's office. The Harris County DA's office, Kim Ong's office, of course, Sherry Cortez and Chief Bradford. Also, Chief Robert Jackson. And any other distinguished guests or elected officials? Harris County Clerk, Tanisha Hudspeth. Thank you so much for being here. And that was Congressman Al Green's office represented today. I heard half of that. State Representative Sam Harless in the house today. Thank you for representing. Any others? Terrific. Thank you so much. Also, I would like to acknowledge the founding members and, of course, our donors and representatives of the Harris County Sheriff's Office Foundation who are with us today. Without them, this beautiful memorial would not have been possible. So thank you. Give them a hand. And, of course, our venue sponsors. We we would also have to thank our partners here at Crime Stoppers of Houston for hosting tonight's ceremony. Despite the challenges of the ongoing construction, we appreciate their continuous support and your patience for working your way through all of it. And finally, a special thanks goes out to the St. Thomas Episcopal High School Bagpiper Band for always helping us with this memorial. Please join me as we applaud all of these special people. We now invite our Honor Guard vocalist, Unita Harris, to return to the stage and the Honor Guard singers to sing this year's special song. I knew you were alive on earth was trouble. Only you could know the pain. Weren't afraid to face the devil. You were no stranger to
Sheriff's Office and the Harris County Sheriff's, uh, sorry, the Harris County Constable's offices as well with the respective uh, colleagues that are here today. We want to welcome you to this very special ceremony. Every year we gather here for the annual Peace Officers Memorial Ceremony to recognize all of our fallen heroes. It's a beautiful yet somber time for us to collectively pause and pay tribute to our fallen brothers and sisters. We must always honor those that made the ultimate sacrifice. It's a sacred pledge we make. We stand with the survivors, the family members, and friends who never stop supporting and honoring the legacy of their loved ones. To all of you, I hope tonight serves as another reminder of how much your loved one made a difference. Your loved one made a difference in this community by protecting and service to uh, pay the ultimate sacrifice. We know that they made a difference in those gathered here today, the many lives they touched by coworkers and friends that are gathered here. And we know that for every peace officer that dons a uniform every day to protect and serve in Harris County, they made a difference because we continue to serve and answer the call and have an example, their legacies of selfless service. 
We must also continue to appreciate the service and sacrifice made by those who honorably wear the badge and must carry that legacy of those heroes who paved the way for us, your loved ones. This year, we had six new Harris County deputies to these hallowed memorial walls. They include three deputies from the sheriff's office and three from the constable's offices. I must take this opportunity to thank all eight of our constables for their dedication and service to Harris County. This memorial service is not about any one agency. It is about a united Harris County law enforcement brotherhood, honoring all fallen peace officers. This evening lends a chance for all agencies in Harris County to come together and collaboratively deliver a program in remembrance of the family of survivors who've experienced the greatest loss imaginable. Despite such major loss and tragedy, many have become empowered to take action, to affect change, and to ensure the legacy of the fallen heroes is never in vain. We see leaders such as State Senator Carol Alvarado and other members of the Texas legislature honor the life and legacy of Deputy Darren Almondares by the sponsor of Bill, Senate Bill 224, also known as the Deputy Darren Almendares Act, which would make catalytic converter theft a felony offense and categorize the criminal conduct as organized crime. We are grateful this legislation has fully passed in the Senate and will now go before the House. We're incredibly proud to see the guests. Yes. We're incredibly proud to see the courageous advocacy and leadership by Garrett's wife, Lord, for helping champion this bill and being a staunch advocate for it and testifying in Austin several times already. We stand with you, Lord. State Representative Armando Wally also continues to work toward the renaming of a portion of the East Texas Freeway after fallen Deputy Almendares, and so many, many other examples. We know that Lupita Gutierrez is also advocating strongly to see how we can make sure that chronic offenders that continue to violate conditions of their probation are held accountable, and it's not a revolving door. Thank you, Lupita, for championing that. I know you spoke to the, both the governor and the lieutenant governor just this weekend when we were in Austin. Thank you. In closing, I want to thank all who worked to make today's event a reality. For my team members for making this a labor of love, I want to thank the Harris County Sheriff's Office Foundation for their unwavering commitment to supporting the Sheriff's Office and all of our fallen teammates and their families. We're also incredibly grateful to Crime Stoppers, to the President and CEO, Ronnie Mancarius, that's here, the board members, for being incredible partners in our shared mission of public safety. We both stand together and we make incredible teammates in Harris County to make sure that we're all collectively continue to keep our community safe. We thank you for being a partner in hosting this event and being home of the special memorial plaza in remembrance of our fallen heroes. Remember that we can honor those who paid the ultimate price every single day. Take time to visit the Peace Officers Memorial webpage where you can read more about their life and legacy, and share your thoughts and feelings for our fallen heroes. Thank, thank God that we can all join here together in remembrance of their legacy and continue to never forget. Thank you. May God bless you all and all the legacy of our fallen heroes. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff, for those comforting words. <clears throat> Members of the Honor Guard will now call the role of the Sheriff's deputies who have given their lives in the line of duty. We ask that all in our audience answer present after each name is called to signify that these officers are still with us in spirit and have not been forgotten. I also invite our survivor families who are present to receive a yellow rose when the name of their officer is called on behalf of the Harris County Sheriff's Office and of the state of Texas. This is a symbol that they will never be forgotten. Harris County Honor Guard members, please take the stage.
Deputy Carl F. Court, November 30th, 1895. Convict Guard William Isham Taylor, February 18th, 1914. Convict Guard Leroy Bailey, February 18th, 1914. Deputy Arthur Taylor, May 24th, 1914. Present. Deputy William Clinton Harless, April 15, 1915. Present. Deputy William C. Doug Williams, Jr., April 16, 1930. Present. Deputy Joseph A. Trappolino, May 23, 1936. Present. Deputy Theron Eldridge Eddie Schaffner, July 14, 1948. Present. Deputy Leo Busby, September 10th, 1953. Present. Deputy Donald Eugene Knowlton, August 22nd, 1960. Present. Deputy Walter Howard Harvey, November 5th, 1962. Present. Deputy Fred Barco Peebles, September 23rd, 1965. Deputy Ed Williams, January 12th, 1974. Detective Rodney Scott Morgan, February 26th, 1974. Deputy Jimmy Howard McKay Sr., March 22nd, 1974. Reserve Deputy James Alex Weir, August 18th, 1978. Reserve Deputy Joe Mason Westbrook, July 1st, 1979. Deputy Albert Ochoa Garza, July 30th, 1979. Deputy Royce Melvin Anderson, October 26th, 1981. Deputy Reginald Floyd Norwood, September 3rd, 1985. Deputy Jess Willard Rozelle, Jr., September 19, 1985. Deputy Haskell, Jr. McCoy, February 2nd, 1987. Deputy Clark Harold Henry, July 25th, 1988. Present. Deputy Richard Maurice Blackwell, September 6, 1989. Present. Corporal Jeffrey Scott Sanford, September 14, 1991. Present. Deputy Ricky Aaron Yates, January 25, 1994. Present. Detective Harvey M. Davis, May 21st, 1996. Present. Deputy Douglas J. Doug Noll, July 22nd, 1996. Present. Deputy Randolph Randy Michael Ng, December 21st, 1996. Present. Deputy Keith A. Freaky, June 4th, 1997. Present. Deputy Rebecca Ann Shaw, February 13, 1998. Deputy Oscar C. Hill IV, July 22, 2000. Present. Deputy John C. Risley, October 23, 2000. Present. Deputy Barrett T. Hill, December the 4th, 2000. Present. Deputy Joseph N. Dennis, May 22, 2000. Deputy Shane R. Bennett, June 12, 2002.
Detention Officer Thomas Flores Douglas, March 10, 2004. Sergeant Thomas Lowell King, September 15, 2008. Present. Detention Officer Dionisio Camacho, October 23, 2009. Present. Deputy Jesse Valdez III, October 29, 2014. Present. Detention Officer Chernosky Jones, August 20th, 2015. Present. Deputy Darren Gofor, August 28, 2015. Present. Deputy Terry Faltonberry, February 13, 2017. Present. Deputy Omar Diaz, July 6, Deputy Sandeep Dhaliwal, September 27, Sergeant Raymond Chowinski, May 6, 2020. Present. Deputy Juan Menchaca, June 13, 2020. Present. Honorary Deputy Cornelius Anderson, July 12, 2020. Present. Deputy Johnny Tunches. November 2nd, 2020. Present. Detention Officer Robert Perez, February 2nd, 2021. Present. Deputy Alexander Goosh, April 22nd. 2021. Present. Deputy Sean Waters, August 1, 2021. Present. Deputy Joshua Seaman, October 21, 2021. Present. 
Sergeant Ramon Gutierrez, January 24th, 2022. Deputy Darren Almanderas, March 31, 2022. Present. Deputy Robert Adam Howard, May 11, 2022. Present. At this time, I ask that the surviving spouses and immediate families of Sergeant Ramon Gutierrez, Deputy Darren Almanderas, and Deputy Robert Adam Howard to please come join me on the stage for a special presentation. Each family will be presented with a shadow box that holds the spent casings from their loved one's ceremonial 21 gun salute. Thank you all. I will now ask for each constable or each constable representative to come up to the podium and call the names of their fallen deputies. We'll begin with Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen. Deputy Constable. James A. Reed, end of watch, September 6, 1905. Present. Precinct 1 Deputy Constable James L. Grayson, end of watch, April 12, 1915. Present. And Precinct 1 Deputy Constable Michael R. Aiken III, September 29, 1998. Present. May their memory be a blessing to all that love and Precinct 2 Constable Jerry Garcia. Precinct 2 Deputy Constable Edgar Eugene Isgit, June 15, 1911. Precinct 3 Constable Sherman Eagleton, represented by Major Villarreal. Precinct 3 Deputy Constable Abram Pearl. End of watch, January 26, 1978. Present. Precinct 3 Deputy Constable Raymond Nieto. End of watch, December 16, 1998. Present. Precinct 3 Assistant Chief Deputy Clinton F. Greenwood. End of watch, April 3, 2017. Present. Precinct 4 Constable Mark Herman's office. Represented by Chief Stewart. Precinct 4, Deputy Constable Marvin Alton Winter. 
December 4, 1937. Present. Precinct 4 Deputy Constable Freight Claiborne, February 19, 2004. Present. Precinct 4 Deputy Constable Kareem Atkins, October 16, 2021. Present. Precinct 6, Constable Sylvia Trevino. Didn't mean to miss five. We have a special presentation. Come on up, Chief Goff. Precinct 5, Office of Constable Ted Heap. Precinct 5, Captain Jerry Foster, October 22nd, 1993. <laughs> Precinct 5, Deputy Constable Jason Patrick Dorling, October 1st, 2007. Present. Precinct 5, Investigator Mark Brown, July 25th, 2020. Present. Precinct 5, Corporal Charles Galloway, January 23rd, 2022. Present. At this time, I'd like to ask the surviving spouse and family of Corporal Galloway to come join me on the stage for a special presentation. Thank you. Jump the gun a little bit. Precinct 6, Constable Sylvia Trevino at this point. Thank you, Sheriff Gonzalez, for this honor and privilege. Precinct 6, Deputy Constable James Singleton, June 8, 1912. Present. Precinct 6, Deputy Constable W. Emery Hicks, September 14, 1923. Present. Precinct 6, Lieutenant Albert Charles Wilkins, January 6, 1978. Present. Precinct 6, Reserve Deputy Constable Nehemiah Pickens, July 6, 2005. Present. Precinct 6, Corporal Harrow, Harry Telepi, February 20th, 2008. Present. Precinct 6, Sergeant Tomas Infante Sr., August 22nd, 2022. Precinct 7, Constable May Walker's office. Precinct 7, Precinct 7 Deputy Constable David Joe Bear Sr., January 12, 2008. Present. Precinct 7, Deputy Jennifer Lauren Chavis, April 2nd, 2022. Present. At this time, I ask the surviving family of Deputy Chavis to join me on the stage for a special presentation.
Last but not least, Precinct 8 Constable Phil Sandlin. Precinct 8 elected Constable John Monroe Weaver, June 19th, 
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our benediction and the retirement of the colors. We invite all to visit the memorial wall behind us and share personal stories and memories of our loved ones. John? My benediction is this. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace. And I want to leave you with these final thoughts. I never dreamed it would be me. My name for all eternity recorded here in this hallowed place. Alas, my name, no more my face. In the line of duty, I hear them say, my family now the price to pay. My folded flag stained with tears. We only had those few short years. The badge no longer on my chest. I sleep now in eternal rest. My sword I pass to those behind, and I pray they keep this thought in mind. I never dreamed it would be me. And on my heavy heart and bended knee, I ask for all those here from the past. Dear God, let my name be the last. Honor Guard Commander Ray Garza for spearheading and coordinating this evening's ceremony. Very well done, sir. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> we'll be dismissing our sworn staff tonight. I want to thank all of you for attending and watching this online, this honorable memorial for our fallen officers. This concludes our formal ceremony. All of